वेलकम एवरी वन सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट विल बी दी सेवेंथ रूट ऑफ सेवन डिवाइड बाई सेवन सेवन रेज टू सेवन डिवाइड बाई सेवन रेज टू सेवन डिवाइड बाई सेवन रेज टू सेवन डिवाइड बाई सेवन रेज टू सेवन नाउ फर्स्ट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग यू नीड टू रियलाइज दैट वेन एवर देर इज अ डिविजन साइन बिटवीन टू नंबर्स ओके सो वी यूज द लॉजिक ऑफ वॉट ए सी एफ मीनिंग के स्टैंड फॉर कीपिंग द फर्स्ट नंबर एज इट इज C stands for changing the division sign to multiplication, and F stands for flipping. So you will flip B as nothing but what reciprocal of B that comes out to be one upon B. Okay. So using the same logic, we'll keep the seventh root as it is, and we are left with what seven raised to seven into one upon seven raised to seven. Into one upon seven raised to seven. Into one upon seven raised to seven. And now, if you see this seven raised to seven and seven raised to seven is cancelling, and we are getting seven root of. Now understand, whenever you have same base, okay, and indices are different, okay. So here, in this case, the indices gets added. So one into one gets you just one, and seven raised to seven into seven raised to seven gets you what? Seven raised to seven plus seven that gets you what? Fourteen. Okay. Now another thing you need to realize is that whenever you have a nth root, okay, it can be written as what? A raised to one by n. Okay. So using the same logic, I can write this as nothing but what? One upon. Seven raised to fourteen, the whole raised to one by seven. Okay. Now, since the entire fraction <coughs> in this case is raised to a single power, means you have a upon b raised to a single power, let's say n. So you can split it. A raised to n, and denominator also gets raised to the same power. So here, I can now therefore say one raised to one upon seven. And seven raised to fourteen, the whole raised to one upon seven. Okay, so see, one raised to anything is always one. Okay, and a raised to m, the whole raised to n can be written as what? A raised to m into n. So using this, I'll write this as nothing but what? Seven raised to fourteen into one upon seven. So now, if you see your indices, something is cancelling. Seven ones are and twos are. So I'm left with what one upon seven square. I can say the final answer for this particular thing is one upon seven square, or I can say it is one upon forty nine. Either way, the answer is absolutely correct. So I hope you've understood how to solve these kind of questions. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.